Frank Warren joins us. Hello, Frank. How are you? Hi, Frank. I'm all right. Darren, how are you? How are you going? We are, we are great. Thank you so much for coming on. Right, the big question is, where are we at with this fight? Well, look, both boxers have, have agreed to the split and it'll be on. You know, it's just a matter of, you know, contracts, but they're not going to be a problem. I know we'll get this on. And I was just listening to what both of the, both of the guys have said today. And from Tyson's perspective, you know, he's just basically putting it out there. That, what, just put it all on the table. You know, why you want a rematch? Let's just get on with a fight and do the fight between the two of us. P- presumably, when a boxer asks for a rematch, in this case, Alexander Usyk, it's not just him saying, I want a rematch clause. It's his people talking to your people about the possibility of putting that clause in the contract, right? Yeah. And, you know, and I've got to be honest, you know, we he, he's right what he says. You know, to start with, we were all all for that because it made a lot of sense for both sides because you never know what's going to happen in a fight. I mean, I think Tyson wins the fight all day long, but you get a cut high, anything can go wrong. You've got, the, you've got that cushion and benefit of a, a rematch, which works both ways. But Tyson today sort of threw that out there, I think, to really just spice it up and say, come on. Let's get on it. Just put everything on the line. The winner walks away with it. Okay, I've got, I've got two questions for you. The first question is: As things currently stand with the contract, is there a rematch clause in it? Well, there's a at the moment. There's a draft contract flow flowing between uh, our two respective sides, and you know we're addressing each point. Most of it's agreed. There's a couple of points in there to be sorted out, but they'll be done. You okay. know, like I said from the beginning. We'll get this fight over the line, and we've been working hard to do it, and it will get over the line because you know what? Both fighters want it. There's not a question of Usyk wants it and Tyson doesn't. Tyson wants the fight. He's the one who put it out there. Said, "Come on, let's get it on. Here are the terms, and let's go." And obviously, but, but currently, Frank, currently, does it have that rematch clause in it? No, because no, no one signed Fine. anything yet. Okay. No one signed the contract. It's only when the contract's signed. That'll be the final contract. Okay, let me get your view on this. My question number two is is on the back of this. Have a listen to this. Who's six promoter? I know you know him. Alex Krishak. He joined this morning's W&J show. He now believes the fight won't happen with Fury, uh, constantly shifting the goalposts. Have a listen, Frank. He bluffed. And Usyk called his bluff. This is 100%. So he didn't expect... Uh, Usyk will accept uh, 70 to 30. He was uh, not in a training camp and uh, we saw next morning those theatrical performance like he was pretending jogging, then he was pretending fighting someone in the ring. It's all about nothing. He is not prepared, he is scared to fight and he will try to find the way to avoid Usyk as long as it is possible. So he's saying this fight probably won't happen. He's going to try to avoid him as long as possible. You're saying the fight is definitely going to happen. Well, look, if he was going to avoid the fight, he would just say, I'm the WBC champion. You get on with your life and I'll get on with mine. And to say that Tyson would avoid any fight, this is the guy that went to Germany to fight against Klitschko at his time was the best heavyweight of his generation, had no problem going over there and actually won the fight. This is the guy that went off to the States, not once, but three times to fight the hardest punching heavyweight who at the time, for the first time, was six years undefeated. Please, the one thing about Tyson, he's got balls as big as you can't even, just massive balls. Mm-hmm. There is no problem with him with the fight, <laughs> with, with, with them, him doing that. Secondly, he trains every day religiously, and it's no secret he's in the past, the issues that he's had with his health and mental, his mental health, training as anyone who knows knows him is something he does on a religious basis every day. He's fit as a butcher's dog. You've only got to look at him. You see any fo- recent photos of him, you can see how fit he's not overweight or anything. So he's ready to go. No problem about that whatsoever. Where we are now, from where we were on Friday when everybody was writing this off and saying it's not going to happen, where we are is both boxers have agreed to terms and the respective camps and lawyers are now working on getting the agreement drafted so that we can officially announce it. But I'm telling you, this fight will be on. Frank, when you look at what's going on the back and forth, obviously April 29th is quite kind of fast approaching. Will it all be done and will you still be at the box on that date? Look, they're both in training. Both of them have said they're in training, so there's no reason why it shouldn't go on. And I was listening early today with uh, Gareth Davis and uh, Simon and uh, Jim White on on the line, and they were talking about, oh, not they, you know, somebody, one of them said it on there about there could be a problem selling the tickets and stuff. I mean, what a lot of nonsense. <laughs> you know, last fight that he had Tyson, 
if you recall, we put it on sale, and the day it went on sale, over, I think it was over 250,000 people were in the queue to buy the tickets, 94,000 tickets. This is a 10 times bigger fight than that. These tickets are sold. Soon as we announce it, we're sold. Mm -hmm. We'll be sold. You know, I have no issues with that. At the end of the day, we're in the promotional business. We need to sell the tickets. We need to make sure that we we maximize revenue from every area to ensure that these guys get paid what they what they're expecting. Uh, and that, that none of this is an issue. No, listen, I, I you know, I'm guessing it's still gonna be at Wembley, is that right? Yeah, I mean yeah. that's that's where we are. Okay. It will be at Wembley. You know, at one stage there was the expectation level that it was going to go on in Saudi, but they came back and said they wouldn't have their state stadium built in time. And obviously there was a big expectation level that they would pay a premium to bring the fight over to Saudi. Well, look, that's not happened. So we're living in a real world and dealing with reality. And the reality is the next biggest place for this fight to take place is in the UK. And the biggest venue in the UK is in London, which is Wembley. Is it signed for Wembley? What do you mean? Is it is the deal done with Wembley Stadium? Yeah, both sides accept that. That's because they want to maximise the income. Look, you know, Usyk, I'm sure in his in his heart would love to fight in the Ukraine. That's impossible for what's going on there. Sure, and sure. even if it, even if these atrocities that are being committed on Ukraine weren't happening, it still wouldn't go in there because it couldn't generate the income as we could in the UK. Frank, I understand the Saudi Arabian aspect because, of course, the money that they'll get. But for you personally, do you think it's quite special and nice that we're seeing a big heavyweight clash, two guys who are at the top of the division having the fight in England? Well, there's two ways to look at it. I mean, you know, obviously they're professional boxers. They've got a short life as, as athletes, as boxers. It's the most dangerous sport in the world, no doubt about that. And you want them to maximise the income that they get for a fight at this level. You know, in the past, uh, Muhammad Ali... Frazier's foremans, they went off and fought in, in the further in Manila. They went to the Rumble in the Jungle, which is in the Congo, various other places to maximise what they could generate for such history-making fights, historical fights. In this particular instance, it's not going to happen. But for me personally, you know, um, to put this fight on in the UK, the first time four belts have ever been on the line in the heavyweight division is history. So I like to be a part of history. You know, I love my boxing and I love the British public to, to see, you know, to be involved and see this happening live. Well, listen, we would all love to see this fight. Uh, before I let you go, I've got three questions for you. You can only answer yes or no. I know, okay, what's, coming. I know what's coming here. <laughs> all right. Question number one. It's impossible to, for me to say No, yes. it's easy. It's easy, Frank. <laughs> to the best of your knowledge, is that fight going to go ahead on the 29th of April? Yes. Okay. Will it definitely be at Wembley Stadium? Yes. Is there is there going to be a rematch clause in that contract? That I'm not sure yet, but I'm quite sure both sides at the end of the day will deal with that. Okay. Last question. Are Arsenal going to win the league? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's more than okay, one of those Without you've lied about. We're, listen, <laughs> we're, we're flying. That performance, that first half and the second half, but the first half on Saturday, which is sublime. Mm. You know, and what a buy true sale it's been for us. I mean, he's he's, he's just, it's brilliant. I mean, I've got, I've got to, I was a big doubter about Arteta you know, the last couple of years. But I'll tell you what, he's proved everybody wrong. He's been very shrewd and getting the best out of these young players. It's just, it's just mm. a joy to watch. Okay. Last last question. What would you rather have, Fury win and Arsenal second or Arsenal win and Fury second? Right. The <laughs> answer to that is you, I, I, am, I am a typical promoter. I want the best of both worlds. You can't have that, Frank. Which one? No, I, I won't settle for less. Okay. 